Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Chanel Angelina and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys my 10 week, I think I'm 10 weeks, my 10 week pregnancy update. Uh, I have not seen my OB yet so we haven't determined exactly how far along I actually am. I'm going to assume based off of my last miss period and my assumed date of conception that I am 10 weeks and 4 days pregnant so I'm just going to we're just gonna call it my 10-week pregnancy update if things change in the future I will definitely let you guys know of course I am gonna be giving you guys my pregnancy symptoms from pretty much the time that I found out that I was pregnant until now so yeah grab yourself a little tea a little coffee wine whatever you're in the mood for you're probably not drinking wine if you're watching this video because um you're probably pregnant without further ado let's just hop right into the video oh no so I did want to say a big thank you and just show my gratitude to every single person who seriously reached out to me messaged me oh my god why am I gonna cry right now <laughs> on my last video you guys don't know how much that means to me like all of your guys' supportive comments all of you guys saying that I can do this um, for those of you guys who are new here and have no idea what the heck I'm talking about I am a single mom and I announced on my YouTube channel one video back that I am expecting my second baby so all of you guys were so supportive and just the overpour of just love and support that I felt was just so great and it just made me feel so confident in this and that I really can do this because I know that I have a ton of friends backing me up and even my family reached out to me you know my cousins it just made me feel so loved so I just wanted to say thank you to anyone who took the time to text DM write me on Facebook write me on Instagram just anything write me a comment on my vi my last video it's truly appreciated because when you're in this by yourself it freaking sucks because you don't have that support system so you guys just coming together and like putting all those sweet comments and all of your sweet words saying that I can do this and that I'm so strong and seriously like it really touches me and it touched my heart and I just wanted to say thank you so yeah without further ado let's just jump right into all of my symptoms that I've been feeling with baby number two I do have a daughter her name is Harlow she will be two in April which is next month oh my gosh I'm gonna have a two-year-old what the heck that's so crazy first of all to think uh, she was born premature so she was born at 29 weeks gestation so it's been a difficult road but we're on to baby number two so I'm just hoping for a full-term baby this time around and I'm just hoping for a healthy happy pregnancy and I'm just putting the good positive energy out there so that's all I can do at this point all I can do is relax um, take take a lot of me time and yeah so anyways uh, let's just jump right into all of my symptoms that I have been having so I guess I didn't start writing down my first pregnancy symptoms until February 1st which I was six weeks and one day pregnant and these are the symptoms that I wrote down I put majorly hungry all the time which is so true like before I found out that I was even pregnant again I was just hungry like literally all the time like I just wanted food and I just had such a big appetite and I feel like now so jumping from six to ten weeks um, I definitely don't f I feel hungry a lot of the time of course but I feel like I'm very finicky with my foods nowadays like I feel like I'm just like mmm like nothing really sounds good it's just like sometimes I will get a major craving and I have to fulfill that craving like right there otherwise it's just I don't know so so far I guess my biggest cravings have been Taco Bell I got three soft taco Supremes and I ate them all and then I was craving a coke or like a soda or something and if you know me you know that I really don't ever drink soda but this pregnancy I've been obsessed with soda coca-cola and the other day I had a craving for chocolate so bad like I saw an ad this was before Valentine's Day and I saw an ad for like a box of chocolates and I was like oh my god that sounds so good it literally took me and Harlow to Target and I just had to get myself a thing of chocolates like then I got those little 
eggs like the little Easter eggs with the caramel inside I don't know why they already had the Easter stuff out before Valentine's Day but they did and I was like uh in heaven so um but I wouldn't necessarily say that I have a sweet tooth this time around it's more just like like cravings like I just have to fulfill my cravings and that was one of them so chocolate was one of them um Taco Bell what else it's like sour like sour gummy worms <laughs> like just all bad stuff to be honest but um I don't know those are my cravings okay so another update that I put for my six weeks was I had really bad acne so before I found out I was pregnant I don't know if you guys saw my last video or not I will link it up here but I was just broken out like I had cystic acne I had regular acne I had all types of acne all over my face um my face has definitely cleared up a bit and that's just because I've been taking really extra good care of my skin lately so I've been using olive oil my friend Brenda she's also a youtuber uh she did her we did a collab on like a pamper night routine video and I saw her taking off her makeup with olive oil and I was like oh wow so I started taking off my makeup with olive oil and a warm washcloth and then going in with my cleanser and then you know washing trying to get all of the makeup off using toners I so I've just been really taking really good care of my skin lately so it's definitely cleared up a lot I don't know if you guys can tell or not because I was like freaking out that I was gonna have this cystic acne oh I also had a craving for whole milk so I don't know what got into me and this is another reason why I think I broke out in that cystic acne because I am allergic to milk um, whole milk so I actually drank half like almost half a gallon like I was craving milk I don't know if my body was craving calcium or protein or both but I drank a whole thing of Harlow's milk and I was just like my craving was satisfied so after that is when I started breaking out with the cystic acne so I definitely know that that was a huge contributing factor to why I was breaking out so bad so I did stop drinking the whole milk and then I'm now I'm just back on my soy milk which is fine I asked the doctor I asked the nurse practitioner about it and she said that that was fine like if you're lactose intolerant or you just you're allergic to whole milk like myself and you can't drink it otherwise you break out in cystic acne then soy milk or almond milk or whatever other milk your substitute is the next best thing obviously so and soy milk does have a lot of protein and calcium in it as well so I'm not concerned my nurse practitioner said it was fine so another symptom that I have been having from the past few weeks is extreme exhaustion so I don't remember being this tired with Harlow like I'm so tired to the point where my friend Tiffany was over the other day and in the middle of our conversation I literally fell asleep like that's how tired I get I get so extremely exhausted by the end of the day that I'm just like pooped like and I I feel so lazy like I felt so lazy I haven't had the motivation to clean or to really cook or do anything at all I'm just so freaking lazy it sucks and I don't know if that's because I have a toddler and just putting all of my energy and you know effort into her is just making me that much more tired or what but I don't remember being this tired with Harlow when I was pregnant with Harlow I remember being like sleepy and I would have to take naps before work and stuff but I was working two jobs with Harlow and I didn't never felt like to the point where I was gonna fall asleep in the middle of a freaking conversation with one of my friends you know so that's another thing is I'm just so tired all the time okay so I wrote down that I've been oddly calm about the whole situation despite like everything that's been thrown at me um, which is kind of weird I don't know if that's a symptom of pregnancy but I've just been really like a lot more calm this pregnancy like I don't feel like I'm like so uptight and like worried I just have like this sense of like peace I guess um that everything is gonna be okay and I don't know if that's just because I'm already a mom and I already have that motherly instinct that you know when you're a mom you get that like sixth sixth sense well that's sort of how it is with me I guess now this time around like I remember when I was pregnant with Harlow I was so worried and I think that's also because I had you know people around me like constantly like oh my god don't do this and don't do that and you need to be doing this and telling me certain things but this time around it's like 
okay like I know what I'm doing I've been here before so it's definitely a lot more chill this time around in my opinion and also another thing is is that I live by myself now well I live with Harlow but like when I was pregnant with Harlow I was living with my roommate at the time and her boyfriend stayed with us a lot and then also Adam was staying with us so I didn't feel like 100% comfortable in my own home in my last pregnancy so that totally sucked um, so with this time around I'm totally comfortable I can walk around naked if I want to do I can you know I can just feel relaxed and just come on the couch and watch TV or just edit my videos at night like I can do what I want so I feel a lot more free and a lot more relaxed this pregnancy which is good because I know that the baby can feel everything that I feel so I definitely want to be calm and just relaxed and not like overly worried or overly stressed about anything this time around so yeah I have been having crazy dreams so that's another symptom that has been going on these past few weeks normally I'll dream and sometimes I'll remember them sometimes I won't but now it's back to the pregnancy dreams i know a ton of people get these where it's just like holy crap what just happened was that real life i had a dream that i had a miscarriage which was so scary because in the dream i actually woke up in the dream and i saw like blood everywhere and it was just so crazy i had that scary dream then i had another dream that harlow was like abducted by some man and that the house was surrounded by like swat it was just like crazy i don't want to put any of those into existence or anything like that i don't remember having night terrors or nightmares with harlow i know i had some pretty vivid dreams with her but i don't remember them being like this so i've had like a lot of like fear fearful like night terrors let me know in the comments down below if you guys get those if you're pregnant too and you've been getting really bad night terrors because those freak me out so bad because they're so realistic i guess another symptom is that i don't really feel pregnant to be honest like i honestly just besides like getting a little bit of mor morning sickness this past week like i really don't feel pregnant like and it's weird like this is almost exactly how i felt with harlow too like i just don't like i know that i'm pregnant like but it's just it doesn't feel like it if that makes any sense i don't know i don't know okay so on february 1st these were all the symptoms that i wrote down and um i put that i was 103 pounds my last okay my last updated um weight i guess is 105 pounds but then when i went back in on the 20th of february i was 104 so i'm kind of fluctuating a little bit i think it's because of stress the last time that i went in i wasn't eating as much and um not because i didn't want to but just because i was under a lot of stress when i'm stressed out i'm the type of person that doesn't eat so i know there's a lot of emotional eaters out there so you'll eat your feelings or like when you're upset i'm the exact opposite when i'm upset i lose my appetite and i can't eat so i guess the past week or like la a couple two weeks ago i'm sorry um two weeks ago i was pretty stressed out you know dealing with certain issues personal issues with adam and stuff like that i just i guess lost a pound so my beginning weight was 103 so i will let you guys know that right now beginning weight 103 now i want to say it's between 104 to 105 so i've gained a couple of pounds which is good and by the way i want to gain weight i want to put on healthy you know healthy weight for this pregnancy and this baby i want to be able to carry this baby all the way to term so i want to do whatever it takes to make sure that i have a healthy pregnancy a healthy delivery all of that so okay so february 6th i wrote down that this was the first day that i actually feel pregnant I guess I put down after dinner I could see my belly so February 6th apparently I had a little belly after dinner I don't know if that was like a bloat from dinner or what but definitely more at night is when I see my belly so right now it almost doesn't even look like I'm pregnant to be honest like it just looks like a regular like I guess I wouldn't say flat stomach but I would definitely say my belly just looks like there's like a little pooch i guess but like not a bump yet so it's kind of weird because with harlow i felt like i was showing at 10 weeks like i started showing at 10 weeks with harlow and with this one i feel like i'm not even showing so nobody knows like 
besides my friends and all of you guys that I'm pregnant so when I go out into the general public like you can't tell that I'm pregnant so I guess February 8th I had bleeding gums so I also when I brushed my teeth this morning I noticed that I had um my gums were bleeding as well so that's definitely a common symptom in pregnancy if February 9th I put yeah a craving chocolate that I was into savory foods I wanted protein, milk, cheese, and pickles. So those were some of my cravings from February 9th, apparently. February 10th, I started working out. Well, I was working out in January. So January, one of my New Year's resolutions was to sort of work out and be healthier, live a healthier um, lifestyle because I hadn't worked out. Prior to January, I hadn't worked out since I was pregnant with Harlow, to be honest with you guys. So I wanted to get back into that. So before I even found out that I was pregnant, I started working out. I don't know if you guys saw any of my workout routine videos well I think I only posted one but I know that I had included some clips in in um, some of my vlogs but anyways so I did do a dedicated video to working out I will link that up here I started working out February 10th and this brings me back to another thing so um, I did start getting a little bit of spotting the doctor said that it was completely normal that you know women get spotting all the time during pregnancy and it doesn't necessarily mean um, miscarriage or anything like that so I was just you know dr. Google I was on Google and just like googling things and I freaked myself out and it wasn't even real spotting it was almost just like sorry if this is TMI but it's a pregnancy update so if you guys are grossed out easily then you should probably click out of this video you should have clicked out on this video a long time ago when I would wipe there was like a tinge of pink so I was really scared. I was like, oh my God, like you're not supposed to see this. I never got spotting or anything with Harlow. So I saw that and, you know, I went to the doctor and they were like, it's fine. Just, you know, kind of like slow your roll. Don't like be so, she didn't say don't be active, but I asked her if it was, could it be due to working out or stress or any of those things? And she said, you know, yeah, those are all contributing factors. Take it easy. She said, this is your second pregnancy. She was like, and you already had a preemie. She's like, you need to be taking it super easy. So basically I'm already high risk. They haven't said that I'm high risk, but I know that I am high risk because I had a preemie and she, the nurse practitioner basically said that I need to slow my roll this time around and not do too much. So that's what I've been doing. So ever since I guess I got that update from the from the nurse practitioner I have not been working out which I do want to start doing some type of physical activity just because I know it's good for the baby to like be moving to be moving around and not just be lazy all the time so I do want to start doing like yoga or just some stretching or just something to like help motivate me and like get me moving and stuff like that so let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions on like easy easy ish workouts not necessarily with weights or anything like that so let me know your guys thoughts and suggestions i would love to hear them so february 12th i found out that i was 105 105 pounds february 13th i had like a really oddly long ultrasound i've never had an ultrasound this long before it was a 17 minute i timed it because i was like videoing it so i don't know if you guys saw my last video i included a clip of like me getting a sonogram you're not technically supposed to film in there but i just like set my little phone up and i like hit it in my purse so that way like i could film it so i filmed that and obviously it has the time on it and it said 17 minutes and i'm like holy crap like that's the longest freaking ultrasound i've ever had in my life um but i guess they had to take a ton of pictures of my uterus and my ovaries just because i did have the spotting and stuff like that so they just wanted to make sure that everything was okay down there and that nothing else was like majorly going on so that's the reason why i had to have such a long extensive ultrasound so i definitely highly suggest if you guys have any type of spotting or bleeding tell your doctor right away don't wait it out don't like wait on it don't sleep on it like i literally told my doctor like the minute i saw it I, I called up the office and i was like hey i'm seeing spotting what's going on and they put me right in right away they got me in right away and we started they did like this extensive ultrasound so that way in case anything is wrong you guys can have somewhat of an idea of what's going on and you don't you can be at peace of mind if it's nothing like it was with me so just definitely if you're seeing any like when you wipe a tinge of pink or whatever tell your doctor just don't be afraid if you think it's nothing it could be something so definitely definitely tell your doctor i also wrote down on the 
on the 13th of February I put no I didn't have any boob tenderness at all which now that I'm 10 weeks I definitely have tenderness in my boobs and I'm starting to see the blue veins now so I don't know if any of you other mamas have experienced this or if you're pregnant and you're experiencing it right now but um, I experienced this with Harlow's when I was pregnant with Harlow I actually had blue veins like like major blue veins in my boobs and one of the major symptoms of pregnancy when I was pregnant with my first was that I, my boobs hurt so freaking bad all the time and this time around it was weird like I never I didn't experience that symptom right away but now I'm feeling a little bit of breast tenderness I've, I've been seeing the blue veins um, my first pregnancy it was so weird so my nipples got okay sorry so I had to clear some memory from my card so sorry if the angle or whatever is a little thrown off but anyways um, I'm trying to also if I'm talking really fast it's because I'm trying to get this I'm trying to get through this as quickly as possible just because Adam's about to drop off Harlow right now so I just want to make sure that I'm letting you guys know all of the updates before she gets here because I know when she gets here it's gonna be game over and I won't be able to be filming anymore so yeah anyways so this time around my nipples are just regular color they're not as dark as they were in my first pregnancy which is really weird to me like the first pregnancy they were like almost purple like they were so dark it was like embarrassing but now they're just regular pink so I don't know it's weird uh, oh so another thing that they tested me for was progesterone and apparently um, I have my blanket right here so I'm like getting cozy because it's all rainy outside but um, apparently I have low progesterone I guess so they did put me on a progesterone pill so I'm taking that once a day and that makes me so sleepy so I have to take that at night it almost makes me feel like I'm on some type of sleeping pill I don't take any medication like even if I have a headache I'll just write it out like I really would rather just like deal with it than have to take any type of medication I don't know why I'm just like like that unless it's like a really bad migraine but anyways so I'm on this progesterone pill so I am taking that once a day. I am also still on my prenatal vitamins. I'm taking the Rainbow Rainbow Light prenatals, which I think are amazing. I think they really do work and they help just because they were suggested to me by a nutritionist when I went to a nutritionist um, with Harlow. I can't remember how old she was, but um, basically to just help her with weight gain and stuff like that. And that, at that time I was still breastfeeding. So she suggested that I take the Rainbow Light prenatals. So I stopped breastfeeding her at like 13 months, but now that I'm pregnant again, I'm taking the rainbow lights again. So I'm taking the rainbow light prenatal once a day and also the DHA pill. So there are two separate bottles that come in a pack. I buy them at Target. They're around 25 bucks, which is a little bit pricier than your normal um, prenatal pill. But to be honest, I think it's worth it. I think they really work. And unfortunately, they're not the gummies or anything like that. I would rather take a pill form just to ensure that I am am getting those extra nutrients that I'm not getting through food otherwise. So yeah. I also put another update is that my go-to breakfast is cold fruit and yogurt. And that couldn't be more true. So anything cold fruit cold grapes cold strawberries I love anything cold anything hot like eggs or toast kind of just grosses me out and almost makes me want to vomit so I've been really trying to stick with like a colder diet especially in the mornings um, I know it's a little bit harder you know for lunch and dinner and stuff um, lunch I could do salads and stuff like that yeah just having like a colder breakfast in the morning has really helped with my morning sickness and to be honest um, I didn't get I really I really got morning sickness with Harlow I probably threw up about a total of 10 times with Harlow from what I can remember and I think that this past week is like my morning sickness week so I haven't had terrible morning sickness knock on wood so far it's been manageable like I've only thrown up I want to say I've thrown up about four times this pregnancy and one of the days I threw up twice in one day so it's very limited um, I'm not throwing up I'm not having constant nausea which if you are I know that your doctor can prescribe you something I don't know um, exactly what the name of it is or what's safe during pregnancy so definitely talk to your doctor if you're having extreme nausea because I couldn't imagine like taking care of Harlow while having extreme nausea like I know like in the mornings I feel a little crappy and I feel like oh like 
mm, like I don't want breakfast and, like I'm not hungry and I kind of want to throw up but like nothing like extreme nausea and I know how that feels because I've been hungover before and that's probably how it feels definitely just talk to your doctor let them know so I guess February 26th I put that I'm having nipple sensitivity um but I'm not really having nipple sensitivity right now so yeah what else can I tell you guys I'm running off of like seven and a half hours of sleep each night around six to seven to be honest six to seven hours a night uh that seems to be okay and then i am taking and some days i'll take a nap like i won't take a nap every day because just because i have a lot of stuff to get done around the house and other things that i need to get done so yeah i don't know i think that's gonna be it for this update i think it was already pretty long um if you guys have any other questions about what's been going on these past few weeks up until now let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching this video i will definitely include a little clip of my bump if you want to call it that i wouldn't really call it that right now it's just my stomach if you guys really want to see it i will include that at the end i'll also probably just include it just for like a memory for myself just to see like okay this is where i started out and hopefully in you know seven months from now i can show you guys like oh wow i'm i'm huge now so yeah anyways uh thank you guys again so much for watching thank you guys for all of your sweet and kind comments on my last video thank you guys for always interacting with me and just being so awesome i love you guys so much also to all of my new subscribers thank you guys for being here and for subscribing to my youtube channel being interested in my content and thank you to all my old subscribers for staying along for the ride and sticking with me through this journey make sure your bell notifications are turned on that way you guys don't miss out on any of my future update videos um i will be having another weekly mom vlog coming out very soon i'm so sorry it's been quite a while since i put my last one out but yeah i'm gonna try to keep up with these weekly pregnancy updates as well as my weekly mom vlogs so just make sure you guys are um staying tuned for all of that you guys are having a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars Oh, I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me breaking You're